Pawn, Wikipedia article audio. Pawn is a preparation combining betel leaf with areca nut and sometimes also with tobacco widely consumed throughout South Asia, Southeast Asia, and Taiwan. It is chewed for its stimulant and psychoactive effects. After chewing it is either spat out or swallowed. Pawn has many variations. Slaked lime paste is commonly added to bind the leaves. Some South Asian preparations include katha paste or mukwas to freshen the breath. Culture India Indonesia and Malaysia Philippines Myanmar Pakistan Cambodia, Laos and Thailand Vietnam Bangladesh Nepal Taiwan Effects on health Effects of chewing pawn during pregnancy The origin and diffusion of pawn remains a somewhat unresolved issue since there is little unequivocal evidence to support the very early dates often quoted, though botanical evidence strongly suggests that the Arica palm was not native to South Asia. Pawn is also consumed in many other Asian countries and elsewhere in the world by some Asian emigrants, with or without tobacco. It is an addictive and euphoria-inducing formulation with adverse health effects. The spit from chewing beetle nuts, known as Bue Pek Pek in Papua New Guinea, is often considered an eyesore. Because of this, Many places have banned selling and chewing bue. Chewing the mixture of arica nut and beetle leaf is a tradition, custom, or ritual which dates back thousands of years from India to the Pacific. IBN Batata describes this practice as follows, The beetle is a tree which is cultivated in the same manner as the grape vine, the beetle has no fruit and is grown only for the sake of its leaves. The manner of its use is that before eating it one takes arica nut, this is like a nutmeg but is broken up until it is reduced to small pellets, and one places these in his mouth and chews them. Then he takes the leaves of beetle, puts a little chalk on them, and masticates them along with the beetle. Since the introduction of tobacco from the Western Hemisphere to the Eastern Hemisphere, it has been an optional addition to pawn. Pawn chewing constitutes an important and popular cultural activity in many Asian and Oceanic countries, including Bangladesh, Myanmar, Cambodia, the Solomon Islands, Thailand, the Philippines, Laos, and Vietnam. It is not known how and when the lime paste, arica nut, and the beetle leaf were married together as one drug. Archaeological evidence from Thailand, Indonesia, and the Philippines suggests they have been used in tandem for 4,000 years or more. Pawn is a ubiquitous site in many parts of South and Southeast Asia. It is known as Gilori in Urdu, Bita in Hindi, Kilai and Tumbulam in Telugu, Tambula in Kannada, Vetralat or Tambulam in Syarat, Siri, Sura. Mark in Lao, Bulath in Sinhalese, Bue in Tok Pison, and Pho. In urban areas, chewing pawn is generally considered a nuisance because some chewers spit the pawn out in public areas. A euro compare chewing gum ban in Singapore and smoking ban. The red stain generated by the combination of ingredients when chewed are known to make a colorful stain on the ground. This is becoming an unwanted eyesore in Indian cities such as Mumbai, although many see it as an integral part of Indian culture. This is also common in some of the Persian Gulf countries, such as the UAE and Qatar, where many Indians live. Recently, the Dubai government has banned the import and sale of pawn and the like. According to traditional Ayurvedic medicine, Chewing beetle leaf is a remedy against bad breath, but it can possibly lead to oral cancer.
In a 16th century cookbook, Namatnama i Nazirudin Shahi describes Gaya's Uddin Kalji, the Sultan of Mandu, watches as tender beetle leaves of the finest quality are spread out and rose water is sprinkled on them, while saffron is also added. An elaborate beetle chew or pawn would contain fragrant spices and rose preserves with chopped arica nuts. It is a tradition in South India and nearby regions to give two beetle leaves, arica nut and coconut to the guests at any auspicious occasion. Even on a regular day it is the tradition to give a married woman, who visits the house, two beetle leaves, arica nut and coconut or some fruits along with a string of threaded flowers. This is referred to as tambalam. Beetle leaf used to make pawn is produced in different parts of India. Some states that produce beetle leaf for pawn include West Bengal, Bihar, Assam, Andhra Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh. In West Bengal two types of beetle leaves are produced. These are Bangla Pada and Mitha Pada. In West Bengal, Bangla Pada is produced mainly in district of Dinajpur, Malda, Jalpegurai, and Nadia. Mitha Pada is produced in places such as Midnapur and South 24 Parganas. The skilled pawn maker is known as a Ponwela in North India. In other parts, Ponwelas are also known as Panwaris or Panwadis. At North India, there is a tradition to chew pawn after Deepawali Puja for blessings. Furthermore, the use of pawn is also prevalent in the Punjab. So much so that shops selling pawn legally have sprung up in western cities such as Toronto, London and Vancouver to name a few due to the large number of people of Punjabi descent living in those regions. In the Indian state of Maharashtra the pawn culture is widely criticized due to the cleanliness problems created by people who spit in public places. In Mumbai there have been attempts to put pictures of Hindu gods in places where people commonly tend to spit, in the hope that this would discourage spitting, but success has been limited. One of the great Marathi artists P. L. Deshpande wrote a comic story on the subject of Panwela, and performed a televised reading session on Doordarshan during the 1980s in his unique style. Pawn is losing its appeal to farmers because of falling demand. Consumers prefer chewing tobacco formulations such as gutka over pawn. Higher costs, water scarcity and unpredictable weather have made beetle gardens less lucrative. Bursiri, Nura or Manjinang is a Malay, Indonesian tradition of chewing materials such as nut beetle, gambir, tobacco, clove, and limestone. Manjinang tradition or chewing beetle nut is widespread among Indonesian ethnic groups, especially among the Javanese, Balinese and Malay people, dating back to more than 3,000 years. Records of travelers from China showed that beetle and arica had been consumed since the 2nd century BCE. In the Malay archipelago, the Manjinang, or beetle nut chewing has become a revered activity in local tradition, being a ceremoniously conducted gesture to honor guests. A complete and elaborate set of siri pinang equipment is called tepak siri, pekanangan, or serena. The set is usually made of wooden lacquerware, brass, or silverwares, and it consists of the kambal, Bekas Siri, Kesup, Gobek, and Kitur. The Siri Pinang has become a symbol of Malay culture, with the Malay oral tradition having phrases such as the beetle opens the door to the home or the beetle opens the door to the heart. Manjinang is used at many formal occasions such as marriages, births, deaths, and healings. A number of Malay traditional dances a euro such as the South Sumatran Tanga dance a euro are in fact describing the dancers bringing serena or tepak siri equipment, ceremoniously presenting an offering of betel nut to the revered guest. 
Pawn has been part of the indigenous culture in the Philippines. Known mainly as Tepic Siri in Malay, it is also commonly and simply referred to as Nganga in Tagalog and Mama or Maman in Ilocano. Nganga literally means to chew slash gnaw. Nowadays, it is mostly popular among the inhabitants of the Cordilleras, among the Lumids of Mindanao, and among lowland barrio folks elsewhere in the Philippines. Cunha is the word for pawn in Myanmar, formerly Burma, where the most common configuration for chewing is a beetle vine leaf, arica nut, slaked lime, and some aroma, although many beetle chewers also use tobacco. Beetle chewing has very long tradition in Burma, having been practiced since before the beginning of recorded history. Until the 1960s, both men and women loved it and every household used to have a special lacquerware box for pawn, called kunit, which would be offered to any visitor together with cheroots to smoke and green tea to drink. The leaves are kept inside the bottom of the box, which looks like a small hat box, but with a top tray for small tins, silver in well-to-do homes, of various other ingredients such as the beetle nuts, slaked lime, kutch, anise seed, and a nut cutter. The sweet form is popular with the young, but grown-ups tend to prefer it with cardamom, cloves, and tobacco. Spittoons, therefore, are still ubiquitous, and signs saying no pawn spitting are commonplace, as it makes a messy red splotch on floors and walls, many people display beetle-stained teeth from the habit. Pawn stalls and kiosks used to be run mainly by people of Indian origin in towns and cities. Smokers who want to kick the habit would also use beetle nut to wean themselves off tobacco. Tongu in Lower Burma is where the best arica palms are grown indicated by the popular expression like a beetle lover taken to Tongu. Other parts of the country contribute to the best pawn according to another saying Tadayu for the leaves, and Gamayaji for the tobacco, Tongu for the nuts, Saga Ng for the slaked lime, Piai for the kutch. Kun, say. Lopit are deemed essential items to offer monks and elders particularly in the old days. Young maidens traditionally carry ornamental beetle boxes on a stand called kundong and gilded flowers in a shinbu procession. Burmese history also mentions an ancient custom of a condemned enemy asking for a pawn and a drink of water before being executed. An anecdotal government survey indicated that 40% of men and 20% of women in Myanmar chew beetle. An aggregate study of cancer registries at the Yangon and Mandalay General Hospitals, the largest hospitals in the country, found that oral cancer was the sixth most common cancer among males, and tenth among females. Of these oral carcinoma patients, 36% were regular beetle quid chewers. University of Dental Medicine, Yangon records from 1985 to 1988 showed that 58.6% of oral carcinoma patients were regular beetle chewers. Since the 1990s, beetle chewing has been actively discouraged by successive governments, from the State Law and Order Restoration Council onward on the grounds of health and tidiness. In April 1995, the Yangon City Development Committee banned beetle in Yangon, in anticipation of Visit Myanmar Year 1996, a massive effort to promote the country as a tourist destination. Effective July 29, 2007, beetle chewing, along with smoking, has been banned from the Shwedagon Pagoda, the country's most important religious site. In 2010, the Ministry of Education's Department of Basic Education and Burma's Anti-Narcotics Task Force collaborated to prohibit beetle shops from operating within 50 meters of any school. 
The consumption of pawn has long been a very popular cultural tradition throughout Pakistan, especially in Muhajir households, where numerous pawns were consumed throughout the day. In general, though, pawn is an occasional delicacy thoroughly enjoyed by many, and almost exclusively bought from street vendors instead of any preparations at home. Pakistan grows a large variety of beetle leaf, specifically in the coastal areas of Sindh, although pawn is imported in large quantities from India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka and, recently, Thailand. The pawn business is famously handled and run by Muhajir traders, who migrated from western India to Pakistan after the independence in 1947. The culture of chewing pawn has also spread in Punjab where a pawn shop can be found in almost every street and market. In the famous Anarkali Bazaar in Lahore a street called Pongali is dedicated for pawn and its ingredients together with other Pakistani products. The rate of oral cancer have grown substantially in Pakistan due to chewing of pawn. The chewing of the product is part of the culture of Cambodia, Laos and Thailand. Cultivation of arica nut palm and beetle leaves is common in rural areas of these countries, being a traditional cash crop, and the utensils used for preparation are often treasured. Now, many young people have given up the habit, especially in urban areas, but many, especially older people, still keep to the tradition. In Vietnam, the arica nut and the beetle leaf are such important symbols of love and marriage that in Vietnamese the phrase matters of beetle and arica is synonymous with marriage. Arica nut chewing starts the talk between the groom's parents and the bride's parents about the young couple's marriage. Therefore, the leaves and juices are used ceremonially in Vietnamese weddings. In Bangladesh, Pawn is chewed throughout the country by all classes. Prior to British rule, it was chewed without tobacco. It is offered to the guests and used in festivals irrespective of religion. A mixture called Thakai Pawn Kili is famous in Bangladesh and the subcontinent. The sweet pan of the Kasai tribe is famous for its special quality. Pawn is also used in Hindu puja and wedding festivals and to visit relatives. It has become a ritual, tradition, and culture of Bangladeshi society. Adult women gather with Pandani along with friends and relatives in leisure time. Pawn is chewed mainly by Madheshis, although migrants in Terai have also taken up chewing pawn in recent times. Throughout Terai, Pawn is as common as anywhere in northern India. There is some local production, generally not commercial, but most leaves are imported from India. Although not as ubiquitous as in the Terai, most residents of Kathmandu occasionally enjoy pawn. A sweet version of pawn called Mitha pawn is popular amongst many who do not like the strong taste of plain pawn. Some parents allow their children to consume mithi in special occasion because it is tobacco-free. In Taiwan beetle quid is sold from roadside kiosks, often by the so-called beetle nut beauties a euro scantily clad girls selling a quid preparation of beetle leaf, beetle nuts, tobacco, and lime. It is a controversial business with critics questioning entrapment, exploitation, health, class, and culture. The International Agency for Research on Cancer and the World Health Organization accept the scientific evidence that chewing beetle quids and arica nut is carcinogenic to humans. The main carcinogenic factor is believed to be arica nut. A recent study found that arica nut pawn with and without tobacco increased oral cancer risk by 9.9 and 8.4 times, respectively. In one study, scientists linked malignant tumors to the site of skin or subcutaneous administration of aqueous extracts of pawn in mice. 
In hamsters, four stomach carcinomas occurred after painting the cheek pouch mucosa with aqueous extracts or implantation of a wax pellet containing powdered pawn with tobacco into the cheek pouch. Carcinomas occurred in the cheek pouch following implantation of the wax pellets. In human populations, they reported observing elevated frequencies of micronucleated cells in buccal mucosa of people who chew beetle quid in the Philippines and India. The scientists also found that the proportion of micronucleated exfoliated cells is related to the site within the oral cavity where the pawn is kept habitually and to the number of beetle quids chewed per day. In related studies, the scientists reported that oral leukoplakia shows a strong association with habits of pawn chewing in India. Some follow-up studies have shown malignant transformation of a proportion of leukoplakias. Oral submucous fibrosis and lichen planus, which are generally accepted to be precancerous conditions, appear to be related to the habit of chewing pawn. In a study conducted in Taiwan, scientists reported the extent of cancer risks of beetle quid chewing beyond oral cancer, even when tobacco was absent. In addition to oral cancer, significant increases were seen among chewers for cancer of the esophagus, liver, pancreas, larynx, lung, and all cancer. Chewing and smoking, as combined by most beetle chewers, interacted synergistically and was responsible for half of all cancer deaths in this group. Chewing beetle leaf quid and smoking, the scientists claimed, shortened the lifespan by nearly six years. A Lancet Oncology publication claims that ponmasala may cause tumors in different parts of the body and not just the oral cavity as previously thought. In a study conducted in Sri Lanka, scientists found high prevalence of oral potentially malignant disorders in rural Sri Lankan populations. After screening for various causes, the scientists reported pawn chewing to be the major risk factor, with or without tobacco. In October 2009, 30 scientists from 10 countries met at the International Agency for Research on Cancer, a World Health Organization-sponsored group, to reassess the carcinogenicity of various agents including Arica nut, a common additive in PON. They reported there is sufficient evidence that PON chewing, even without tobacco, leads to tumors in the oral cavity and esophagus and that pawn with added tobacco is a carcinogen to the oral cavity, pharynx, and esophagus. Scientific teams from Taiwan, Malaysia, and Papua New Guinea have reported that women who chew arica nut formulations, such as pawn, during pregnancy significantly increase adverse outcomes for the baby. The effects were similar to those reported for women who consume alcohol or tobacco during pregnancy. Lower birth weights, reduced birth length and early term were found to be significantly higher.